Go ahead with the first question. What is yeah. the level? You know, uh, everybody talks about the hype for the build up, you know, game of the century, round two, whatever it is, but what is the level of excitement for a player going into a matchup like this? Um, it's definitely exciting. I mean, you, you can feel the you know, see the intensity of the game, how big it is to everybody and stuff like that. But then in a sense, like I said, I feel like we played in a lot of those big type games, big atmosphere. So you kind of know how to prepare for them. You, you, you're excited, but then at the same time, you know how to channel that into a different channel it to where you need to focus on. So, Do people say stuff to you on campus on a week like this? Uh, yeah, I mean, they kind of bring up the fact that you got a big game and stuff like that, but you kind of try to tune that stuff out, like keep the conversation short. Coach was just talking about how, depending on uh, who the opposing quarterback is, that can change how much you can take chances as a pass rush and as a defensive front. What what kind of determines that, like how aggressive you can be in your pass rush? Um, just knowing who the quarterback is, if they're a mobile quarterback, knowing okay, you got to respect it. They can run and get out. So depending on how you rush, if it's a mobile quarterback, you want to make sure that you stay in your rush lanes and don't get too kind of excited to go inside or outside. You just got to play more discipline depending on who the quarterback is. What do you see out of Burrow in that regard? Um, he's definitely a mobile quarterback. He can, you know what I'm saying, extend plays, but at the same time, he likes to, you know what I'm saying, keep his eyes downfield, and I think that's what makes him good. How different is this LSU offense from, from what you saw in the past? Um, they're more confident and they're explosive. They definitely, you know what I'm saying, they built the momentum off of, you know what I'm saying, making big plays week in and week out, so you can tell that they're definitely, you know what I'm saying, confident. How good is what, what stands out about Joe Burrow when you watch a film? Because he's good last year, but, you know, not putting up this kind of numbers. Um, just more comfortable, more confident, and, you know what I'm saying, like I said, he can extend plays even when, when pressure comes, and he still keeps his eyes downfield, so I think that he's done a really good job at that, and then also he just, you know, he's been able to make his guys play behind him. Is, is, it, is there something that motivates you guys as a defense about playing a guy that's a lot of people are talking about for the highs running everything when you got one on, one on your own side too? Um, yeah, I mean. You don't yeah. want him to win the Heisman against you. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's exciting knowing that we're going against a Heisman hopeful. So, I mean, we've done that before. It's, you get excited, but at the same time, it's just another quarterback. He's definitely talented, though. How can you deal with any kind of injury? The further removed you get from the injury, the more you feel like you're getting back to where you were before suffering the injury. Do, do you feel like the, these last few weeks that you've truly like started to get back to where you were before the, the ACL? Have you felt that? Um, yeah, I mean, sure. I, I don't really feel like it's been that much on my mind as much as everybody else's kind of. So I've been feeling comfortable. I think it more so it's starting to come into the light as far as, like, how I've been playing. And you can tell I've been playing probably faster and faster. But me, I feel like I've been comfortable. It's just more so turning it up a notch, basically, and keep building off of each game, building, building, building. That's kind of been my focus, just get better each and every day. How complex is the, the scheme, offensive scheme this year compared to the, kind of the three yards and the cloud dust that they've had the last couple of years? You talking about LSU? Yeah. Um, like I said, they got great players over there, so I think at this point now, I think they're comfortable just letting those guys play and make big plays and stuff like that, and they've shown that they're good at that. So I think they've probably been let off the leash a little bit, and it's been working for them. Is it crazy how quickly that's evolved, though, going from for Alabama and LSU, going from that that style that we saw with like strong defense and run the ball to now both teams kind of airing it out? Um, I mean, we're both two good programs, so I feel like they had to. We both had to evolve to how the game is going, so it's definitely becoming a passing game now, explosive offense. So at some point, you know, what I'm saying big schools like this, they're gonna get the best players, so they evolving, just built off of what they've been recruiting. In terms of their scheme, does it remind you of something that you've already seen this year or even last season? Um, last season, I didn't really watch them too much. I mean, I know they had a good offense still, but I know this year they're definitely, you know what I'm saying, a very balanced offense, can make big plays, can run the ball, can do everything that, you know what I'm saying, you ask for out of offense. So, okay. Have you seen any of the comments from the LSU players talking about how they want to dominate this game and coming from people's heads and stuff? Mm-mm. <laughs> that hasn't been on the sign anywhere in the weight room. No, I haven't seen it. You talk about yourself, kind of how you're playing, just like you, you've always expect yourself to play. Where have you seen Trayvon? He, he went through a similar situation last year, missed a lot of time. Have you seen him kind of take that next step even in his own game and become that shutdown corner that everybody probably thought he could be? 
Uh, yeah, definitely. I think it, you know what I'm saying. He takes everything. Basically, he cherishes every moment because even you know what I'm saying. I mess with him at practice, stuff like that. Like, if he give up a completion, I'll make sure he hear about it, and then <laughs> he'll shut people down for like the next six plays, and then come on and be like, you know who I am. Like, so <laughs> I, I definitely see you know what I'm saying. He definitely getting comfortable again being who he is and knowing, you know what I'm saying, knowing who he is. So it's, it's fun seeing that trade line. Have you How seen a difference in Najee Harris this year? Um, the way he runs, maybe. No, nah, not really. Najee been running like that. I mean, he run hard. You know what I'm saying? You never know how to tackle Najee, so you don't know, you know what I'm saying, what button he might press. He <laughs> might try to run you over, might try to spin, might try to hurdle. So anything that y'all seen, and I already have seen. With all the formations and personnel groupings that, that a team like LSU can throw at you, how does that affect you as a pass rusher? Um, you just got to play the plays, get a rhythm for what they kind of want to do in certain situations, and uh, go from there. Don't want to play hesitant because then that will slow you up, but at the same time you want to you know just play discipline. How much pride do you guys Last take one. in the home winning streak? Um, we take pride in winning. So <laughs> I don't really think about that. I didn't know about the home winning streak. I just want to win every game. Thanks, Drew.